all right so what's going on guys so today I'm gonna go over how to uh, refurbish and clean up your weights uh, so I just got these weights right here they're six uh, 45 pounds standard barbell plates and uh, yeah as you can as you guys can kind of see it's dark outside right now so I brought them outside uh, a couple hours ago when the sun was still out but it started to rain literally as soon as I brought it out so I mean I could do it in a couple of days and do a little bit more training with it like this but I'd rather do it now get it over with because uh, tomorrow is a rest day so I'm gonna have a full 24 hours for it to dry and I can flip it and maybe do another coat if I need to supplies that we're gonna be using is some vinegar for scrubbing and just to get most of the the rust off and then we got some rust-oleum uh, hammered it's just for the painting to uh, paint it after we're done with all the scrubbing wire brush and uh, we are using like an old shirt as like a mask if you guys are watching this in the future uh, everybody pretty much in California and a bunch of other states now uh, are uh, have been ordered to stay at home quarantine yourself basically uh, because of COVID-19 so shortage of masks using an old shirt that'll be just fine so uh, yeah let's get to scrubbing with the vinegar Alright, so it got a little bit darker, but hopefully you guys can see me. So while I was scrubbing this one, uh, I felt like the vinegar needed to sit a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour vinegar on top, uh, all of them. Let it sit maybe for probably about an hour and then come back. I know I've seen people soaking it in like vinegar half and half baths for like over 24 hours but I just simply don't have the time. These are the only weights that I have to train with right now. Uh, I just acquired them. It was pretty stressful because I was checking uh, OfferUp, Craigslist, and all those things every day. Uh, people are <laughs> just about price gouging their weights. Uh, like I said, excellent deal. I got these for 50 cents, uh, 50 cents per pound. People are going as high as uh, uh, two and a half, three, even uh, three plus, uh, dollars per, per pound for just regular uh, weights so uh, yeah I mean yeah these are the only ones that we got right now we're working with them and we want to make them look good so this is enough time uh, to get get a pretty good scrub get off most of the rust get it pretty cleaned up and uh, yeah get it looking nice well done Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes of just letting the vinegar soak in on the top end of the weights. Uh, what I decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and wire brush lightly. Uh, just brush over the entire top part of, of uh, each and every weight. Uh, just to kind of make sure the vinegar gets spread out over everything and gets soaked, soaked in into each weight a lot better. So we just got done with a quick scrub. <laughs> Took about, uh, let's say maybe 10, 15 minutes. So nothing too hard. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let it sit probably for another 30 minutes. Uh, shoot it down and then do the same thing to the other side. All right guys, so uh, again, we let it sit for about 30, 45 minutes again. Now we're gonna go through a second time and scrub all the weights. Uh, shoot it down, clean it off, flip it over, 
and then do a light scrub and then let it sit and then we'll repeat that again. So as you guys probably can hear, it is raining. So, I mean, we just got done uh, letting it sit for probably about another 30 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the final scrub, shoot it down, uh, take the weights inside, and then dry them off. These are pretty much dried off. We dried it off with the towel like you've seen. Then I set it in front of a fan for probably about two hours. So yeah, they're completely dry. Uh, we're laying them out now. They're kind of elevated. If you look closely, they're not touching the ground. What I did was uh, I used these uh, Amazon air package things. I just kind of put it up, put it under the waist so that it's easier to pick up and move if I need to move it. Yeah, slightly elevated. And now we're about to throw on the coat on this top end of, uh, with Rust-Oleum, a hammer. This is a, a two-in-one, so it's the primer and the, the spray paint protector all in one. All right, guys. So let's see what it looks like after the spray paint. looking at right now pretty big difference so yeah so for these 645 pound plates doing all six on one side the face side took, took one uh, one uh, can of uh, spray paint of the rust-oleum so just in case of you guys need to know how much you guys should buy you can go off a rough estimate of that and yeah so we're gonna let this dry overnight uh, hopefully it's dry when we wake up tomorrow uh, flip it and do the other side we just try to get as much uh, layers on as we can uh, before we train again in two days the next morning all right guys so this is the the morning after place looking like this Flip them over and do the other side. Alright, and we're finally done, guys. So, take a look at it. Man. This is the final product. And the other two are put away already. And yeah, again guys, so that's what I use. Didn't even use the whole vinegar. Uh, we finished one whole can of uh, spray paint. And this one, just about done also, but I'm gonna save it just for touch-ups. Uh, I'll put the links to everything I use in the description down below and the wire brush and yeah, 
pretty much a, pretty much a, all I use. And hopefully they give you a good idea of things you guys can do to uh, kind of refurbish your plates, get them looking nice and fresh. I chose this gray color uh, just because I feel like the black is almost played out already. I like it. 